Okay, here we are at Occupy Portland, yeah. and uh, who are you? Nancy Newell. Hi, Nancy, and you got an idea about uh, getting some water down here for the people, right? Yeah, instead okay. of buying corporate privatized bottled water, uh -huh. it, it takes water from communities all over the United States and all over the world, so we don't want to do that. That's against our basic theme, so I thought it would be a good idea, just like Portland has done, the City Hall has done, and the Water Bureau all summer long for nonprofit events, they just set up water faucets and pull it off a pipe. That, that's easily pulled off and there's several in the park here that they could do that and it would solve the problem very easily and quickly. So we thought we'd make a request on behalf and the consensus is go ahead and get it done. So that's what we're going to try to do and we'd appreciate phone calls to City Hall in that favor. Say, you know, the, this whole theme of Occupy Portland because of the problems with Wall Street, well, that's our commons, that's our drinking water, so just provide it to the people that are trying to restore the commons and the protections to the people. So you're suggesting that, um, that viewers um, and anybody down here contact the city, try to help push for us getting some water provided from Bull Run, right. from the pipes that run right underneath this ground right now, they right. can tap into and provide drinking water for everybody down here, right. and it would be a service by the city yes. for the community down here that needs water. Right. And it would help us with the Occupy um, because we're not buying all these corporate bottled water jugs. Exactly. Okay, and that's a real good idea. And your name is Nancy, and mm -hmm. you're telling us to um, contact City Hall, contact right. Randy Leonard or the Water Department. Right, and, okay. and the mayor, because he also can do that. Okay, he well, can thank ask you. Him to do that. Good idea. Thank you. I'd like to see it happen. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Oh, you're the marathon? Oh, yeah, I believe that the elk was where that was going on. Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! The Portland Marathon meeting! The Portland Marathon meeting! The Portland marathon meeting. Shall be starting shortly! Shall be starting shortly! I caught him hitting you. No. <laughs> I've been invited here to address the crowd and tell them what's going on and 
we've been talking all day and it's very positive. So. Do you want them to go or stay? They will make their own decision, however the decision-making process is. We've offered the options. We, we can't, we're not here to tell anybody what to do. That's why we're here to make our own decisions. Can you tell us? Exactly. We're trying to facilitate. Uh, we're here. We, we, we're not here to tell anybody what to do. What we're here to do, first of all, if I didn't have the marathon this weekend, I'd probably be out here too. Okay, I'd just have something else to do. The point is that we're all in the same community. We all live together. We all have to This should be the one that's working. And I think we can reach an accommodation for the best interests of everybody. Would you like to see them leave and then come back afterwards? I don't have an opinion about that. What, what is the accommodation? Is it putting up the fences and limited access? Well, I think these folks, you know, I'm going to let these guys ask the questions because they're the ones making the decisions. And we can't make a rational decision without all the information available. And then once we have that, um, we can open it back Right. As I understand, you guys are going to be meeting around 7-ish or something yes. like that? Yeah, we'll be having a general assembly meeting at that okay. time. And so all we've talked about today is what we have to do in order to make sure that everybody who's here, these guys, Participants, the runners, the walkers, the volunteers, the spectators, the family members of all the folks that are down here. We want everybody to have a great day or a are great weekend. Are you angry though that they didn't leave when they were supposed to I, I'm not angry at all about anything. Should we give it a test? Okay, I'm giving a mic test. Mic test. Mic test. How we doing, folks? How we doing, folks? Okay. Would you like to introduce yourself to everybody here? I better stand up. Yeah. And really put that close to your mouth. Okay. All you can go on the side. <laughs> Which side? Okay, this one. It's a little... Yeah. Okay. Can everybody hear me? Don't repeat that. Just can everybody <laughs> hear me? Yes. yes. Great. Thank you for having us this afternoon. My Closer name. To your mouth. Closer to your mouth. Closer. My name yeah. is Chris Hardman. I'm a volunteer with the Portland Marathon. My friend standing right here, which most of you all probably can't see, his name is Richard Busby. His name is Richard Busby, and we have the privilege of uh, being the course directors for the Portland Marathon. This year is the 40th anniversary of the marathon. Busby and I have 30 years in service this year, so... Cool, we do too. We he said we love the Portland Marathon. It's obvious. We appreciate that. If you want my job, I'll give you twice the pay, but you're not going to pay the bills with it. That's why we're here, bro. I, I understand. I understand. So I'm here to talk to you guys, but I understand you guys are the ones with the questions. So tell me how you want us to proceed, and we'll proceed that way. Thank you. We want to share the park with you. Chris, will you go over the proposals and the rundown of what could happen in the next couple of days? Sure. Thanks. Let me tell you what's been happening on this very site for the last 28 years. And the reason I use 28 years is because that's when we set up the start and finish lines in this park area. Every year we've had to secure this area because the start line is over on 4th Avenue and Taylor, about a block away. The finish line is literally over here by the Justice Center. We're one of the few events in the entire country that has the ability to start and finish within a block since 78% of the folks running this race this year come from out of town, so they're bringing their families, their kids, etc. It's easy to walk down the street and start and end in the same place. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's better. Can everybody who can sit comfortably, please sit comfortably so that everyone behind you can hear. Your bodies act as a sound barrier. Thank you. Pass the direct traffic! Okay, um, so let me tell you what's going to happen. Let me go. Yes, we do. Sorry, okay. Yeah, I'll try to I'll move, I'll move around too. Jump up. There you go. Yeah, sorry. Okay, we're live.
How's, how's this? Okay, can you hear me now? No, no, we're all good. Turn it up. Can we get somebody to help him by holding this other megaphone? That'd be great. You can use uh, both of these other megaphones. Yeah, use both. Yeah. Use both of them. Yeah. I will. There we go. Yeah. 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 All righty then. How are we doing now? Woo! Yeah. 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 First of all, I'm very impressed with what you guys are doing down here. I was kind of hanging around yesterday, and this whole thing is really exciting because, you know, we do things differently in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. And that's, frankly, that's yeah. Yeah. What's going to happen here in the next couple of days starts tomorrow morning around, well, anywhere from 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning. This effectively becomes a construction zone. Okay, I mean, the traffic, the, the streets will still be open, but some of the lanes will still be closed. We're going to have heavy equipment moving in here to start setting up scaffolding for the finish line, broadcasters and so forth. We're going to have our communications van in here. This whole area effectively becomes a secure zone. We call it the red zone because unless you have the proper credentials as a marathon committee member, even you can't get inside the secure zone. You have to be inside for a reason or you don't need to be inside. Who's allowed inside? Well, traditionally we it's been the uh, only the race participants who've just finished running 26.2 miles or 13.1 now because we have a half marathon also. And they have to go through an entire process to get to their loved ones. And I, okay, first of all, I grew up in Italy so I learned how to speak with my hands and actually because I can't use both of my hands <laughs> while talking I'm having a little difficulty here but the point is that the family reunion where all the family members for all the participants who are running this race will be on uh, meeting their families over there on third and Taylor or thereabouts now what happens we have corridors of traffic and it's essential that we maintain the integrity of those quarters. This is a certified event. What does that mean? Well, people who want to run Boston have to run a race within a certain amount of time, and they have to run it on a certified course or it doesn't count for them. So there are a lot of people here trying to qualify for Boston, they're trying to qualify for New York or whatever, or they're just out here to have a great time and change their lives because it can be transformative. We have a lot of walkers. We have almost 14,000 participants, we expect, and that doesn't include the 5,000 uh, volunteers, people from the community who are gonna be helping to produce this thing. Uh, our motto is we want all the pain you enjoy at the Portland Marathon to be self-inflicted. And so we do our best to make sure everybody's safe. And that includes the spectators, that includes our volunteers, that includes all of you guys. So. I want you to know this is going to be a secure zone. We're going to start putting up fencing. And believe it or not, this has nothing to do with the fact that you guys are in town. Okay, <laughs> we've actually been planning this for over a year. This is kind of my day job at night sometimes. Because as I said, we're all volunteers, so you can have my job and have double the pay. <laughs> the thing is that we fence.